Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and my air is out again. Because nothing works ever, or it doesn't stay working for long. <sighs> you guys, I'm sure you can't imagine how annoyed I am because I paid a lot of money for that thing to work. A lot. That's not what you're here for. You're here, I assume, to watch me talk about my Ipsy Cream Bag Plus. So, as always, before I get into this month, I will go over last month and let you guys know what I thought, including my two add-on purchases. So first, we have the Complex Culture Pointed Foundation Brush. So it's got a point, so you can get into those little nooks and crannies. And it does work really nicely. Every brush I have gotten from them has been really nice. I know it's like an Ipsy in-house brand, but that does not mean it's not good. Now, would I pay the full 30 odd dollar price for this? Probably not, but I'm cheap when it comes to brushes. So if I can get nice, high quality, higher end brushes from a subscription box, then I will and will, as long as they're good, happily enjoy them. <laughs> Next is the foundation I'm actually wearing today. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Now, when I initially had gotten this, I tried a little sample first before I opened this up to make sure that I liked it. Cause I was like, I'm gonna be really mad that if I went out of my way to select this foundation and figure out a color that would work for me because they didn't have the whole range. They just had like five colors. And then I can't wear it because my face hates it. Well, my face does not hate it. It is a luminous foundation. It does not keep me matte, but it's not designed to. So in the not so hot and sweaty months, I can definitely wear this and enjoy it. Or I can wear it on camera and get a, and not appear so maybe so flat that can come across with a lot of mattifying products worn at once. Not because I'm any less oily, but these days, especially when I'm on camera, I tend to mix luminous and matte products to get, to both make the foundation look, my, well, my skin look a little better on camera and not completely melt in 15 minutes because I'm sweating to death. <laughs> oh, but it's probably gonna happen now anyways, because like I said, no air. I do have my ceiling fan on that I forgot existed because I hardly ever turn it on or think to turn it on. So if you hear anything in the background, it's that, and I could not be in here without it. But it's a good foundation. And it can work for oily skinned people if you are into a little bit more luminosity. Next is the lipstick that I'm wearing under a different gloss. It is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Seal Rose. Now, when I look at it like this, it looks, you know, more rosy than hardcore pink. But and what I've been kind of having issue with trying to wear it, because I've tried to wear it a couple of times on its own and I've just never found the right look for it. It is pretty on pink. Now today, I'm wearing it with a slightly more purpley gloss and I like the look of it. It does feel really nice on the lips, so kudos to that. But the color is a little hard to work with, at least for me, because I'm, I'm doing the very warm toned thing right now, mostly because of what I'm panning. And I mean, technically you can wear whatever you want together. I don't like how this looks with those shadows, so. I've been having a little bit of issue with trying to wear it, but it is very pretty and the formula is very nice. Now, the two things that they actually picked for me were the Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner and the Cream Shop Ethereal Glow Ampule Serum with Peach Essence and Argan Oil. They sent me two serums. So I had to try this one for a week, see how it worked, and then tried this one for a week with my normal skincare routine so that I could make sure that one wasn't interfering with the other even though I used them at different times. So, First off, I really like the Cream Shop one. It's very inexpensive, but it still comes with like nice glass packaging. It, the dropper works nicely. It smells like peaches, which if you tell me there's peach essence in it, I don't care what they say about fragrance and skincare. It better smell like freaking peaches. So this is just like a nice kind of hydrating serum as far as I can tell. I could even use this literally as a essence or ampule like it says on here which is like just another hydrating boost before a serum. So I could combine this with like a normal vitamin C serum and I'll get into why that one's not a normal one in a minute and just really pack a punch with hydration and a little bit of refining. I really like that. This I am not super into. Now, I will first say that a lot of people actually had issues with this, like giving them chemical burns on their faces, like when they just use it every day as a normal vitamin C. 
Now this does have 20% vitamin C, so that's a little intense to be using every day, even though it says on here, smooth over cleansed skin, dry skin, cleansed, dry skin, AM and PM. I would use this like twice a week. Like, you know how the Sunday Riley uh, good jeans you use like once or twice a week to get like a boost of sloughing off extra skin cells without using a chemical exfoliator. I treat, I would treat this in a similar fashion. So I did go to using it like that, although my skin isn't super sensitive to being over exfoliated or anything like that. Like a, maybe it's an oily skin thing. Maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. No. With all of that said, I still don't like this and I will show you why. And maybe it's because of how intense the vitamin C is in it, but it's a cream. I don't like cream serums. I just don't. They don't feel like a serum to me. This feels extra oily, which I don't necessarily need during the day. This is something I would probably wind up using at night if I didn't have the Sunday Riley Good Jeans in my routine right now. So I do appreciate that because it is vitamin C. It has opaque packaging. Light can't get into it. So I am sure that it will be fine to sit and wait for me to get to it in that fashion of products to use. <sighs> but I would not use that every day. Maybe build up to it if that is your eventual intent. Like start with once or twice a week and building up to it. But after that, but unless you're going to do that, I would not just start using that every day because a lot of people had issues with it. Now, the two add-ons I had, the first one I forgot to bring in here, but I will still insert a picture real quick and talk about it. It is the Naked Cosmetics Vanilla Lip Scrub. This is what I would have gotten in my regular Ipsy bag as my choice product if I had gotten that last month. Although I am getting the Ipsy regular bag in April because I really liked my choice autumn. I, I cannot remember quite what it was off the top of my head. So uh, this does not have enough scrub in the lips for me. <laughs> it actually really aggravated me when I realized that because it smells really good. Like it does have that nice vanilla scent that I do really enjoy. But it's a very light scrub and on my face I can understand and appreciate why you would want a lighter exfoliator even though I want a good scrub. That's just me and my kind of old school thinking on that honestly. But uh, it's it's not enough to really exfoliate the lips. So I might wind up using that up as like a hand scrub or something because I do not, it doesn't do enough for me on the lips. And the other product I had was this. It is the Bimayo Matte Rescue Mattifying Cosmetic Ampules. Now, instead of coming in like one bottle, it came in these 10 little breakable bottles right here. They are actually in my empties. I have finished this product off. And it said that one bottle was one use. That is not the case. You could easily get two or maybe even three uses, just depending on if you go like down your neck or whatever, out of the bottles. So you could technically get at least 20 uses out of these bottles, if not more, like I said, just depending on how much you spread your skincare out all over you. So I'm definitely like a down the neck, down the decollete person. Now, that's one thing. Another, but this packaging, these little bottles were annoying as crap. Now, they did break. I couldn't break it on camera last time to show you because I just wasn't trying hard enough or I wasn't. I wasn't getting the right angle on it, I think is what it was, because once you get like the right angle right where they have like the little line on the bottles, it breaks fairly easily. Yes. As long as you don't like have issues with arthritis or anything in your hands. The, the, it was such a pain in the ass to get the product out of the box. Just super annoying. I would have to like beat it on my hand while tr doing stuff. And I'm just like, no, just take this product, which is honestly really nice, and put it in a normal bottle. like. Put it in a bottle like this, put it in a plastic bottle with a pump, I don't care. Anything would have been better than this. I would, despite me actually liking the product, I would not repurchase because the packaging was just such a giant pain in the ass and I just would not want to deal with it again. No. Out with the old, in with the new. Uh, I got a lot of add-ons this month, I will admit. I just got a little add-on happy. And of course, as I already know, because I've already opened this, the card doesn't say anything. It never does. Nothing of importance, anyway. 
Like, I don't know why Ipsy, for their regular bag, can tell you what you got and the price of the full size, or if it is a full size, they just tell you the price. But for the plus, they can't do that. Also, I will admit, I'm not in love with the art on the bag for this month. Like, it feels like a nice, sturdy bag, and I will use it because I use them to, like, contain different empties from different project pans to keep up with all that stuff. That's what I use these big canvas bags for. But I like the message of the bag where you have women of different colors and body shapes and all that all holding cans together and being united. I like that. I just do not personally like the... The artwork is not my style. No offense to the artist. I can't draw for shit, so... This is definitely coming from somebody who can't draw worth a damn. My hands actually shake a little too much to draw straight lines. They always have. I just don't have a steady hand. But it's not my cup of tea. It might be yours, and if it is, hey, more power to you. And like I said, I do appreciate the message. And it has actually something, and a saying on the inside that says confidence comes from within. Now first, I don't have my notebook out here with me, so I can't tell you the price. This is just going to have to be on here. Uh, we have an Ofra blush in Bellini, and because this is the Glam Bag Plus, it actually comes in their square packaging, which I have gotten full-size Ofra products in my regular Glam Bag, but they come in the, like, circular plastic packaging, so. But they're still worth the same price, at least in my opinion. I will say, this packaging is really pretty. It gets really dirty, <laughs> so. It's the shade Bellini. I am very happy to have it. I do love a pretty peachy kind of blush. So, not mad at that. Packaging, like I said, is very nice. It has a little bit of a magnet in there. It has a mirror on this side that I'm not gonna flash you with to show you my dirty office. All right, let's see. Okay, next, we have stuff attached to one another. We have the Pure Lease Silk Glow BB Base Primer. Now, if you saw my, what's it called? Um, makeup collection of uh, base products, you know, probably don't need another primer, but it's really hard for me to turn down a primer. I really like testing them. That's why I have so many, although I have been going through my minis very nicely, so I felt a little more okay taking this on. It, its benefits are satin sheen makeup primer base, leaves skin with a natural healthy glow, provides brighter skin tone, prolongs foundation wear, improves skin complexion, helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, dullness, and other signs of aging. Now, when I get these more glowy primers, I tend to use them on days where I don't wear makeup sometimes. Like, especially stuff that has, like, a real glow to it, like I think this does. I don't know how well you can see that or if my lighting is just washing the piss, up, piss out of it. But, um, you yeah, know, it, it helps me use my makeup primers and I don't feel like it's wasteful or anything. Just th think of it as a light makeup day, if you will. But uh, even if I don't necessarily like this under my foundation, which some glowy primers I love under foundation, don't get me wrong, sometimes I use them for that. I can still use it day to day on days that I'm not wearing makeup, so it'll get used up. I'm not that worried about it either way, but I do really like Pure Lease. It doesn't have a smell, by the way, so I am totally happy to use that. Now next, I got something that was a bit out of character for me. That's not it, because I'm already talking about it. I will pull that out instead. Uh, it is Press On Nails. <laughs> These are the Marmalade Aria Press On Manicure Kit. So it is square, matte silk finish, just in a white shade. Now this does come with glue because I don't have nail glue. But uh, I actually thought, you know what? I have pretty terrible nails, pretty much no matter what I do. I even have some janky ass looking nails because I completely wrecked one years ago and it didn't, this is kind of gross, but I'll show it to you. It, I ripped half of it off, like it came loose from the bed and it's never like reattached. So, one of my nails looks kind of janky, but uh, I figured, you know what, I complain about my nails being bad all the time, they don't hold on to nail polish or anything like that, so because I had this come up and I literally almost bought a set of LA Colors press on nails right before I got to do my choices for this, I was like, you know what, let me try them. Now I don't know if I will just stick with the matte white shade or if I will paint over them, I haven't decided, but... I'm actually really excited to try these. And I feel silly being really excited to try press-on nails. 
Next is the thing I almost uh, that I initially pulled out by mistake. It is the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch Invisible Plus little acne patches. I have a set of these from what is it? What is the ones I have right now from? Pas not Pacifica. A cure, like a cure organics. I have a set from them and they're almost done. So I figured, you know what? This came up. None of the other choices in this category were super appealing to me. So let me fill a need product right there. So I don't have to go out and purchase a new set. Although I would recommend actually going for the, I don't remember what they're called, but they're from Walmart and they're like 250 and they work just as well as the Pacific, not Pacifica, the Acure ones. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on saying Pacifica today. All right. And so the final thing that I actually like had in my box, I'm trying to remember what was chosen for me. I believe the blush and this eyeshadow palette right here, which I've already swatched. I will not lie to you there. It is the Bell in Argent Pan Chromic Eyeshadow Palette in Plum Phenol Premonition. I can read, I promise. I will say, while this brand's packaging is really pretty, like it's got the kind of art deco thing going on, it attracts fingerprints like no one's business. Because <laughs> I have a lipstick from them that is actually over here somewhere. Are you? Yes, you are. I know you are because I saw you the other day. Here it is. I can feel it. Like their lipstick is also the same style of packaging, even more kind of art deco-y. But maybe it's because it has all the, you know, squares on it. It does attract fingers as much but yeah that's just their kind of packaging aesthetic so here are the shades they don't look necessarily super exciting it's just kind of a cool toned plummy palette but let me swatch these shimmers for you guys look at how shimmery like, they are bam shimmers and they got this glitter shade that will certainly require a glitter glue primer it's not like a cream shimmer. Like it's more like a pressed thing going on, but I'm really looking forward to trying that. The mattes are also really nice. Like really smooth and creamy feeling. There's three of them right there. So I'm, for being kind of a more neutrally palette, I'm really hyped to try it. And now I have glitter all over my hand, but that's okay. I will clean myself up later. And now for the add-ons, like I said, I went a little add-on crazy. I got three. Although you can get like up to, I think 10 now or something insane. Look at that. And of course, because they had sheet masks, they purchased them, even though I don't need more sheet masks. I really don't. Anyways, we have two from the cream shop who I do love for a good inexpensive mask. We have fusion sheet masks this month. We have a blueberry banana one and a peaches and cream one. Now the blueberry banana is supposed to combat, the blueberry is supposed to combat fine lines and wrinkles and the banana exfoliates the brightened skin. And for the peaches and cream, the peach rejuvenates, brightens, and brightens signs of fatigue and the milk, which is the cream part, calms sensitive skin and corrects discoloration. Love me some sheet masks. That's why I tend to always add them when I have the opportunity. Now, this one, I'm not, super familiar with the brand. I actually got some more with points from this same brand, so I hope they're good. These are the Two Days masks. Now, when I looked up these up to get prices for them, it apparently they sell them in like week packages and two day packages of the same masks so that you can go seven days and like really see a benefit from them. So anyways, we have a tea tree, which is poor care and clarifying, which I can always use. And a bamboo water, which is hydrating and nourishing. So, I can't remember. Are these just two masks or is it like two of each one? I think it's just two masks. Yep, just two masks, so. But they sell like two day packs. I wanna say three day packs and seven day packs of these style of masks. And finally, I finally got what I thought I was getting in my Ipsy regular glam bag in January. It is the Foxy Bay 
Don't hate hydrate replenishing hair masks. Not something you leave in, but you know, you let it sit for like 15 minutes and wash it out. But these are packaged a little strange in my opinion. Like instead of like a bottle, they're eight little tubes. So like this is supposed to be one use. I don't think so. <laughs> Not my hair. They are sulfate and paraben free, cruelty free and vegan. Like I said, I don't know why they package them like this. It, and it feels like almost matte packaging. Maybe it's recyclable. I don't know. Probably not. I'm sure the box is at least, but. So I think this is a weird way to package your full size product. But ever since I didn't choose it as an item, I've been dying to try it. So when I had the ad opportunity to put it as an add-on, I snatched it up. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. Thank you for bearing with me this month while I have been dealing with serious air conditioning issues and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.